and search through Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Come on. Faster. Decided to keep me company? Never know what might come at you deep in a dark forest. You think someone may wish to? Think I should warn off anyone who'd be dumb enough to try. Sure. I see and right. Yes. Good work for me. If you're willing. Some manner of evil prowls about. Got us scared to venture out of the village. Any idea what kind of beast this is? Oh, you hear all sorts of things. The wenches clean the nets, blather about costches and manticores. But I reckon that's hogwash. We'd seek the counsel of Freya's priestesses, we would. But how can we when we can't get to the shrine? And nobody's gotten a glimpse of the beast? From a distance, even? Oh, they have, they have. Right close. Closer than boot and strap. Soon after, their blood spattered the underbrush. Near from the start, no ordinary man could handle the beast. But Svera insisted. Mustered a crew and... Only four came back, the rest massacred east of the village. So, will you help? Let's talk about my reward. You want to bargain? How would you count it? Hating hands at the withers, or...? Hmm. by species. Drowner's less than a cockatrice. Aha! Uh -huh. But we've no notion what prowls the high road. What do you say you cut it down and then we'll talk? Mm -mm. We pre-agree a price. Define a bonus for unforeseen risks. So, how much? Ah, have it your way. Tis your neck on the line. I'll tend to the monster. Not your first. That's clear enough. Not like our lads. Heads full of fire, but not a morsel of thought between them. The four survivors. Where'll I find them? Aim to talk to Sphera? Maybe it ain't a bad idea. They're sitting over there by that hut.
respect, Witcher. You, you're a you, Dimwit. Drop one more and I'll keel haul you. Got a minute? Prepare my boat, can't you see? Nilfgaardian dogs were the hunters' some. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvarg. Ah, so them's your apples. A rate right, ask away in praise of Freya. You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. I managed to flee. Great Mother was looking out for me that day. Mm hmm. But she didn't give a lick about the priestesses. Apparently. Mokvarg had them bound, then slit their throats like horses for the sacrifice. And he laughed. Understand? He laughed. But Archpriestess Ulver cursed him with her dying breath. You are beastly now. Remain so forevermore. Ah, saintly woman. What happened to Morkvarg? Hard to believe, but fur rose through his skin, and his mug stretched forth into a muzzle, like a dog's or a wolf's. He howled, long and grieving, then lunged at his men. They tried to run, but he was fast as lightning. As he killed them, clamped his jaws round their throats, they turned to ash, just like that. Ash that seeped from twixt his fangs. Not good. Curse must be complex, multi-leveled. Such is the Great Mother's power. Didn't help the priestesses. Why not? How could I? Alone against a dozen raiders that... Why are you staring? Just wondering. You people, obsessed with honor, courage, and so on. But you just cut and run? Strange. I ain't proud of it. Since that day... I've been seeking a worthy death at sea. Seems the goddess, she's not seen fit to summon me. Yet. Thanks for your help. Goddess, guide your sword. Drop me eye on you. Hey! Friends we show heart, foes we show our axe. Here. Could ask you the same. Places like this, usually home to necrophages alone. They're corpse eaters, aye. And they grow bolder by the day. Crawl out to attack the living. We'll kill them all. Clear the mine with our swords in our hands. Honor our fathers in doing so. I'm a witcher. Could go with you and help. And steal the glory due us? No chance. Glory won't do much for you if ghouls are gnawing on your bones. Hmm. When you're thinking it, makes sense. Hmm. All right. You lead the way then. Hey, where you going?
long you're gonna make me wait? Smell it, Kurt. Hey, where you going? Key? Ramond? Where's the key? All I have in the chapter house. The crate. But the key? Where's the key? Why so silent, Ramond? You thief. You rogue. You horse son. You worthless bastard! I will find the key without you, <laughs> idiot, stupid prick! You cannot hide your oh, how long can I be wait? <laughs> Refreshing.
your friend. Patient doesn't mouth off. the key. Floodgates open, but nothing's happening. fell through the crevice years ago. Air is moving here. Must be another cave above or way out.
Greetings. Praise Freya. Liar. What? I swear it on the Great Mother's tits. Cut the act. Don't buy your piety one bit. You were one of Morkvarg's men. Well, well. Sharp yarn. Didn't see one thing, though. Lads here around me, they're mine. Arm to the teeth to the man. Let me introduce you. I'm no knight errant. I'm a witcher. Didn't come here to bring you to justice. Digging up the past? What's that for? Need to know what actually happened in the garden. Gonna lift Morgvark's curse. Why would you bloody do that? Horson should suffer till Ragnarok. The day after, actually. It's what I do. Used to say the same myself, till Morgvark gave the order to sail for Hindusfjall. I raided often and cruelly. Killed women, children, whatever my axe happened to hit. But priestesses, it was too much, even for me. When, when it was over, and Morkvarg was drinking with the rest, I took this out. Wolf Fang pendant, covered in runes. I got it from my Da, who was god eye of our village. Told me that anyone I cut with a fang would suffer a fate worse than death. Spoke true, it seems. Your pop-pop mentioned how to reverse this? Victim needs to get the fang is all. But I'll not give it to you. That horse son should suffer. I'll take the fang. You can either hand it over, or... Word of advice. Never threaten a Skellige warrior. Especially one's got command of a longship. So who you not for that witch! Fight a witcher. I want you to die with pleasure. Kind. God, I, 
and this. Or at least me. Here, put this on. I need no more fangs. Don't be a smart ass, just do it. I'm free. Free! At last! Oh, where's the tavern? I can eat a broiled pig. No, a side of beef. Wash it down with a cask of ale. Then to see. They forgot me, no doubt. <laughs> well, I'll fucking remind them with a bang in Novigrad, everywhere. Ha! <laughs> I'm back! Fair winds and all, but before you go, my reward? Right. Nearly forgot. Happens often. Too often. Calm yourself. I'm a man of honor. Now listen. You'll go to Novigrad. To the pits. Find the vulture, the moneylander. Tell him Morkvark sends his regards, and you'll know me to be a generous man. Farewell then. The sea beckons. <laughs> It's open, but nothing's happening. left. Beast must have dragged the shredded body to the woods. Mm, something really did tear him to pieces. Looks like blood, but... Hmm. Red clay. Hmm. Necker warriors use this clay to mark their position in the pack. Creature leading the Neckers is sentient. Gotta be capable of setting primitive traps at least. Tracks lead into the woods.
found a good place for the nest. have developed an immunity to the toxin. Now the poison protects their nest. Clever. Finally, the main nest. I got company. Black me hot to bugger. Your very names be cursed. Well, well, well. So will you help then? Killed the beast that was troubling you. Merciful Freya. Horson's finally dead. Now, tell us, 
Was it a tough fight? Got any wounds need dressing? No, I'll be all right. Ah, uh, nothing new to the likes of you. Hard work, witchering. All right, your reward. This here's for you. Thanks. So long. Put on your tunic. Mommy said you're a hero. I serve the goddess and her flock. What can I help you with? You, Svana, hear about the hero's pursuits. Can outsiders sign up, or is this a closed event? Freya sees no insiders, no outsiders. Any man can pay her tribute by risking his life in the pursuits. Our races differ from those on the continent. We are beholden to one rule alone. First across the line wins. Sometimes he's the swiftest, other times it is the one who knocks his opponents off their mounts. Explains the name. They're an entry fee? Courage. If you do not lack it, hang a horseshoe. Winner get a reward of any kind? He covers himself in glory, basks in proof of his valor. Mm -hmm. Was hoping for something a little more tangible. To us, such things matter least. But yes, the winner receives something to remind him of his feet. At times it is a sword, at others a helmet or a shield. How about that? See, you can be practical if you want to. Bit of exercise never killed anyone. So, where are the races held? The first three on Ard Skellig. Whoever wins each at least once returns here to Hindusfjall to face last year's best rider in a final pursuit. Gotcha. What's his name? You mean hers. Astrid of Speakerog, known as the Vipress. Lovely as monikers go. And completely deserved. Good luck, Witcher. May your deeds bring the goddess pleasure. These continental damn faster then we gotta drag their corpses out of the inn. One more week, Karisu. I know you feel better. But you greetings. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg, got a few more questions. Notice I read didn't mention a curse. All who live here know of it. Could be, but I'm not from around here. Could use some information. Archpriestess Ulva cast the curse. It bound Morkvarg to the garden for all time. So even if he is killed, he returns there. Never heard of this Morkvarg. What is it exactly? Not what. Who. The worst man Skellige has ever known. He... Mm -hmm. They said he... Arch... Might have already run into this Morkvarg. He, a uh, werewolf? I know not. I... I'm afraid I've never seen him. Shame that. Was hoping you could tell me more about him, help me with my work. You might speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He saw Morkvarg and his men descend on the garden. He was the sole pilgrim to escape with his life that day. Settled in Larvik, you'll find him at the landing there, provided he's not at sea. I'll come for my reward. But can you be sure that- Morkvarg's gone, for good. Guaranteed or you'll get your coin back. I shall hold you to that, Witcher. You who grant us love, hatred, and strength. Clouds you who grant us love and hatred of the self.
Come on, Roach. Always did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Far Ipsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Far Ipsis set off for Skelliger one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. Why are you even interested? Jinns are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a Jinn, I shall gain incredible power. And that could be useful to us one of these days. Are you sure this mage actually had a Jinn? His books strongly suggest he did. He describes taming one, harnessing energy from its power. Know where to look? For the mage and the djinn? The locals say they last saw Amos's ship off the coast of Hindisfjall, just before a once in an eon storm broke. Dad will find them then. Mage is probably fish food, and the djinn escaped. Not necessarily. But even if it is so, I'll not give up without seeing some evidence. Will you help me? I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. Since you put it that way, fine, I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. Does the witchcraft of more hogs wraiths? Make me answer. See, you've managed to prepare everything already. <laughs> I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. I decided to risk it. Oh. Hey, watch it! Lead the way. Just once, you might try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation. The ship carrying the djinn sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. Getting in or not? Not sure this gin thing's a good idea. We managed to seize one before. Do you remember? Of course. Dandelion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> How lucky your exorcism saved it. 
It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. Gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life? Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always, not about you mocking my every mistake. Careful yeah, what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah. And as for your missteps, I don't rightly see why I shouldn't laugh if they're amusing. There's something here, on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad, I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. How's it going? Yeah, and you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? Wouldn't admit it if I did. Not the point. See anything interesting? A shipwreck in the cavern. I'll look inside. Snapped masts, busted planks, and a whole swarm of drowners. Probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew. Then made their nest here. There's also a clan Drummond figurehead. Talking about the gym, or have we moved on to a talking fish? Doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in two Something's here. Another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. Be careful. Look for something that might indicate it's the Mage's ship. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Haymai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Skeleton. Somebody pinned his skull to the deck with an axe. A death worthy of a Skelliger. Clan emblem indicates a demon man, so he was from Pharaoh. Yen, doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships.
you're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the Golden Dragon and the avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember, the chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember, though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. Something strange about those rocks. And there's something on the bottom. We'll see what it is. See something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell to see through your eyes. Now relax. I see Fortia Badem Ein Eichter Ilivade. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks, and everything lying within the teleportation zone. Always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. I see Fortia Badem Ein Eichter Ilivade. No gin here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up. Only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the djinn. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... 